Alright, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 3, everyone. And we're still trying to trank uh, the pain here. Oh, there we go. Once you get down halfway, you'll get a cutscene, and it'll pretty much, uh... Nothing will really change except he'll have a little nasty surprise for you. And the thought about it just kind of makes me sick, but... I mean, look at him, come on. I hate bees. Oh my god. But anyway, yeah, he'll summon his bullet bees, which... Which pretty much wound you and will keep gnawing at your flesh. And you have to dig them out like regular bullets. It's kind of a nasty picture. Yeah, so you already have them. But just dive underwater and... You shouldn't have a problem. Ah! Um, whoa. All right, so, uh, yeah. Ah! What? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Yeah, sometimes he gives in uh, cheap shots like that. It's kind of weak, but... You know, what do you expect from a boss? Ah. There you are. Woohoo! Yay! Another one? My god, you are spamming those like hell. There you go. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This battle's already getting anticlimactic here. If he'd let me attack... My god. Come on. Die already! No! Thank God. I was getting ready to run out of tranquilizers there. <sighs> okay, so we're in the water all of a sudden. Yes. The pain. I understand. The pain. Um, wow. It's probably one of the most epic video game deaths I've ever seen. But don't worry, this is just the beginning, guys. I mean, they just keep, they just keep getting more epic as they come. Ugh. Then again, this game is just full of win anyway, so... And most of you have played it already, so I think that you guys already know. But... We have to get on this pathway right here. If I can... There we go. And we have to climb all the way up here to get our well-deserved Hornet Stripe. Hmm. I believe that... Yeah, that will go back to the caves. So don't go there. <laughs> Instead, you want to just go off here. Hooray! 
What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Alright. There we go. Hornet Stripe. Good stuff. You'll be leech free, and uh, it's actually kind of a decent uh, camouflage in some instances. You won't be using it a lot other than that, though. Yeah, I, I'm in dire need of more ammo. Ew, I still have... no. You don't want to eat those. The arowana. Interesting. Snake, why don't you try killing it first? Jesus. Nom 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 nom. Damn, look at him go. Hey, you're not finished with that, bud. There are children starving all over the world and... Nah. That fish was fucking huge, though. I gotta go to a cave myself and try to catch one of these. Apparently they don't taste all that great, so maybe I won't. Alright, so I will go back and get that animals I wanted. Alright, so uh, I went back... Oops. And what I pretty much did was redo the entire cave again. And I had to fight Ocelot again and trank him so I can get uh, the camo called Animals. And basically what that does, it's like the best camouflage to wear in a mountain environment or a desert environment. And you'll see in a little bit why that is. Yeah, M19 and AK. You don't really want to bog snake down with a lot of weaponry. The first several times I played through this game, I just put as, as many weapons as I can on him, and his stamina gauge would always run down. They would never be able to aim at all. But there's the animals camo for you. Right there. Oh, pretty fashionable, huh? But that, believe it or not, is like the best camouflage to wear in like desert or mountain environments. But we'll just stick with water for now. And we'll have the croc cap. Like I said, we're going to be using it soon. There we go. Alright, now here we get a little cutscene. Wow, when I first saw that cutscene, I was like, what the hell? <sighs> anyway, I believe there are some interesting uh, codec conversations that you can get after seeing that. I believe you have to talk to Eva f first. Snake, you beat the pain. Not without a tough fight. How did it feel to fight one of the boss's comrades? What are you getting at? I just want to know what it's like to have fought a member of the legendary Cobra unit. That's all. What you want to know is if I can really face the boss. Is that right? Ooh. Well, that too. Don't waste your time worrying about me. I'll get the mission done. Hard ass. I certainly hope so. So the exit of the cave is up ahead? Right. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovier Swamp. Uh, no, that wasn't the right codec, of course, but... Eva, where are you now? I told you, didn't I? I'm right near the Colonel. Pretty weak answer, if you ask me. I suppose you're right. <laughs> what? I'm under orders to cooperate with you, but that doesn't mean I have to tell you everything I know. I would assume the same applies to you, too. What kind of mission is this? My god. Ugh. Oh. Pass through that area to the north, and you'll yes, reach the aqueduct. Yes, we know. But be careful. The aqueduct is Here controlled by flying platforms. Flying platforms? Soldiers hovering in the air. I've heard stories, but 
They've already been implemented over here. It goes to show that America isn't number one in everything. Well, uh-oh. Looks like we gotta step up our game, guys. Nah. Flying platforms never existed, and let alone in the Soviet Union. I mean, come on. There's, like, no incentive to do anything under that kind of oppressive government to make flying platforms like that. I mean, I mean, I guess, no, they do exist now, I think. But it's military only, and we don't know about it. But I think, yeah, I think they do, like, exist now. But that should be a little bit better. Makes me think. I gotta do some research on that, because I am kind of interested in that. Alright, so in the next episode, we'll, we'll continue uh, going through the swamp. So we'll see you guys.